Your morning news now 19 year old Anthony Fimple, the victim of a Saturday morning shooting in downtown La Crosse is being remembered as a kind and compassionate man devoted to serving others. Authorities have arrested a suspect in the shooting identified as 31 year old Timothy Young of Spring Grove, Minnesota. Fimple's father, Gus, released a statement encouraging families to let each other know how much they care. Two GoFundMe fundraisers have raised about $24,000 to support the funeral costs. The president's retweet of a white supremacist only fueled protests around the country this weekend while demonstrators marched towards the governor's house in St. Louis, Missouri. A white couple outside of their own home pointed guns as the group walked by. In the video, a man can be heard screaming white power the tweet drew immediate condemnation from Tim Scott, the Senate's only black Republican. Well, we've got a flash flood warning until 8 o'clock this morning for much of Dunn County. Flash flood watch includes Chippewa County as well until 10. Now that heaviest rain, which dropped as much as 3 to 6 inches over the county, now moving south and east away from Dunn County. But uh, boy, some heavy rainers along and north of Interstate 90 this morning. Lots of lightning as well. Watch out for some street flooding. The global coronavirus pandemic has hit a new milestone with 10 million cases and half a million deaths worldwide. In the United States, cases are surging in several states, with Florida reporting 8,500 new cases in one day. Meanwhile, in California, Governor Gavin Newsom has ordered bars and nightclubs to shut down in seven counties after record-setting numbers in the state. Wisconsin continues to see an uptick in newly reported COVID-19 cases. There are 457 newly reported cases in the state. However, no new deaths are being reported. About 21,950 people have recovered from the virus. According to the Wisconsin Department of Health, there are seven new cases in La Crosse County. Eau Claire County is reporting 14 new cases. Monroe County is reporting two new cases. There's also one new case in Crawford County. The Wisconsin National Guard has helped in a variety of ways during the pandemic, including COVID-19 testing, but that statewide support could soon run out. Since April 12th, the federal government has paid for the assistance, but that federal funding will expire in August, according to the state health officials. Right now, the state is preparing for testing without the aid of the Guard, but Governor Evers will be asking for an extension. We're working through details about how we will be moving forward as we anticipate reduced Guard participation once that federal money goes away. But uh, we're, we're going to be asking the, the president to extend that. Guard members have tested over 150,000 samples so far. In Minnesota, over 35,500 people have tested positive for coronavirus. The death toll currently stands at a little more than 1,400, and 30,809 people around the state have recovered. Winona County is reporting two new cases, and Houston County is reporting one new case. We do not have any information about possible additional recoveries at this time there. And in Iowa, just under 28,500 people have been infected with the coronavirus. That's an increase of about 350 cases. The death toll is at 706 with no new deaths reported since yesterday. Nearly 17,700 people have recovered in the state. There is one new case being reported in Alamakee County. Winnishie County is reporting three new cases. Well, be prepared for showers and thunderstorms this morning, especially along and north of Interstate 90. Heavy downpours with these. Watch out for some street flooding, some uh, rapid rises on smaller creeks and streams, and uh, plenty of lightning in these storms as well. It is a muggy morning. Temperatures in the 60s where it's raining. The rest of us well into the 70s. And another steamy day with highs in the upper 80s. Again, those scattered showers and thunderstorms, uh, especially through early afternoon. We want to thank you for sharing your morning with us. We hope you have a great Monday. We'll look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow morning.